Wow, you got here so fast. <laughs> Must be some superpowers running around. <laughs> Woo! What's up, guys? Welcome to the Flash After Show here at thestream.tv. I am Dylan Landon, happy to be joining you. And as always, I'm with your new BFFs over here to my left. Well, it's your boy, Devon. I came in with the hoodie today, okay? I had the ears and everything. How y'all doing? Oh man, you are prepping ready to go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, repping the lady comic book lovers today. I'm Lauren Mayhew, and I tried to bring it with my flash gear today. I made this shirt myself. Cut it on the side. <laughs> and guys, how's it going? It's a pleasure to be here as per always. What an amazing episode. And Lauren, I must say, costume design is definitely your new, uh, definitely the new way for you to feel. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so you're not gonna say nothing show. about the shoes, the socks, <laughs> the jacket, and the hat, and you're the belt? fully decked out. I get no love. The thing is, I expect more from you, Devon. Yeah. I, where's the underwear? Where's the socks? Oh, I think he's where's got the, the underwear, suits. actually. <laughs> the underwear has a hole in it. I gotta get a new one. Okay, that's fair. I'll send it over to my mama. She's a great Running sister. through them. <laughs> Everybody is doing their thing, running all over the place, especially the cast and writers of the CW's Flash, because they just got ordered a full season from the network. Yay! Yeah. So instead of the original 13 episode run, they're basically going to go for a full 22 or 23 episodes this year. So that's more Grant Gustin as The Flash for you, and that's more, more Flash after the show! <laughs> Woohoo, party! Y'all the real MVP. Real uh, MVP. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So a lot of cool storylines going on in today's episode. Uh, you know, I want to start things off a little, uh, a little squishy today, maybe. We saw a little development between the relationship of Caitlyn Snow and Barry. So, is there some hot romantic uh, mayhem about to go down between these two? I think there really? might be. I think there might be. I mean, you know, as of yet, we hadn't seen Caitlyn really open up to anyone. Um, and this episode with Barry, she really kind of lets him see a little bit more inside and you know maybe he ends up being the shoulder she cries on. Yeah and also vice and versa and vice versa <laughs> <laughs> and uh, vice versa with um, what's the face as well Iris and Barry. Mm -hmm. Iris is with Eddie so Barry also kind of needs a shoulder to cry on like you say Lauren mm -hmm. and uh, why couldn't Caitlyn be his shoulder to cry on? And Correct. then it's like, oh, okay, let's forget about Iris now. And then Caitlyn's like, oh, Barry, you're actually kind of cute as well as super fast. And that's exactly how you get Iris to come back to you when you start dating that's another girl. That's how you girl. do it, guys. Mm. Take oh, a Jack from knows the what's up. Exactly. <laughs> well, speaking of hot, steamy romance, we cannot forget who Ronnie Raymond really is, which is, as we all know, Firestorm. And uh, by the way, there was no Martin Stein in that in the thing. Which There's is no the Martin other Stein part. yet. Yeah, Devon well, was but super I mean, upset. He was like, I was, is he I was like, where's up? Martin? He got to be locked up in there too. That's the other subconscious half it's like, of Firestorm. Like, what's going be, on? They have to eventually explain that to us because you're right. There has yeah. to be another half to him. So somehow, some other person must have been in there somehow. Right. I don't know. Well, we right. haven't learned that just yet, but we're definitely going to learn it soon. So we do see some flashbacks with uh, Robbie Amell, who's Stephen Amell's brother from Arrow, playing Ronnie Raymond. So the foreshadowing, we think maybe he's going to return. So how do we see his return? coming into play. That's going to be fun. It's probably like what you were talking about, Jack, with the whole love triangle yeah, type like thing. That, yeah, you're right. That was my my opinion. Well, what, with how Robbie's going to return? Well, yeah, when he comes saying? back as... How, how he's going to yeah. cut... Well, if he comes back, how he comes back. Well, my opinion was, like I said, maybe uh, Caitlin falls into a bit of a, a romantic scenario with Barry, and then Iris goes away, and then Robbie, Ronnie, comes, Ronnie back. comes back and is like... Hold the phone. Hold on. Bro, that is my chick. And then that's when Ronnie and then the Flash. Uh, and then Iris is right, going to be right, like, right. hold on. I was meant to be with him, but then I was with this guy. And then it's all just going to be a huge love try. I feel like we've got yeah. Well, you guys were obsessed with, like, us. one of the lines she delivered. So why don't we lay it on yeah. the Who was the most obsessed And talk about why you guys <laughs> love that line so much. Well, well because well, how did it exactly go? It was something like... He is the ice to my fire, right. or the she, fire to she my She said ice. straight out, I remember it perfectly because it was my favorite yeah. line. She said, I'm gonna do my best Caitlyn Snow. How was that? Oh, that was sexy. That was great. You, you that like was the hot. If okay. you had long hair, it was... And if I had the yep. long red Chillingly hair, good. she was like, <laughs> he was the fire to my ice. Oh, and you took off the accent. I took off wow. the accent. I'm well, going, I'm going to allow today. She guys. said that, okay, and I mean, as we know, she's going to be mm, Killer Frost which is the whole Firestorm Killer Frost thing. You know, he I've been giving the them celeb names. So the CW Ice. is doing some great job at foreshadowing. They are, yes. they're poking the at everything. They're are poking at everything. Mind. I just followed them on Twitter today, by the way, the CW yeah. Flash Riders. I did too. Great. We all followed you <laughs> today. I'll and a let's uh, you know, hit them up on Twitter, try to get them on the show, and yeah. then you can maybe answer some questions uh, that we always the have, we like uh, uh, Joe's new agenda. 
Mm -hmm. You know, we see him mm. really diving in, uh, trying to prove uh, Barry's father's innocence now mm -hmm. that he's learned that uh, he didn't kill him. So, does Joe feel guilty? Is this is what is propelling him to do all this? I. Was you going to say? Go ahead, go ahead. I, I think Joe feels super guilty about all this after 14 years of him saying, "No, you're crazy. No, you're an idiot. No, you're seeing red and yellow streaks. You're going out of your mind. Your dad's a killer. Your dad killed your mom. All these times of doing it." And now for him to turn around and try and go back on himself. Mm -hmm. Like for 14 years, he's been saying how, like, your dad's crazy, your dad's this. And now he's having to kind of completely contradict himself yep. and be like, actually, you're right, you weren't crazy. But now, why is everyone going to agree with Joe? That's what I want to know as well. Is anyone just going to turn around and be like, oh, hey, he's the lead detective, even though he's been telling us for the last 14 years? They would well, he's got to prove it, and what I want to know is now, if you're Barry's father, how do you feel about that when the guy is sitting a foot away from you saying, I fucked up? I Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. I think, right. honestly, that um, that he got away pretty easily with that because Barry's father basically saying, oh, you know, at least you always believed in my son. I mean, the guy's been in jail for 14 years. I'd be a little bit more pissed off than that. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, you know? yeah. It was also... It was Do also, something. It was also... Joe can't really say anything about that. Like, Joe, uh, sorry, not Joe, Barry's dad can't really say, like, oh, you were the one that put me away. Because right. But he did say before in the flashback, he was like, you know me, like, our kids are friends, like, you know me, no, like, I, I I'm not a killer, I you know? I completely agree with you. I completely agree with you, though. I think, like, when man to man, son, like, sons are best friends, why will you not believe me? Would some, would you really believe someone if you were a law officer and someone said to you, yeah. I saw red and yellow streaks flashes, yeah. and flashes? Yeah. yeah. Kill my wife. Well, I think that with the whole time. The murder after, prints were on his. The, the fingerprints yeah. were on the murder weapon. Yeah, he was a doctor. He was trying to save her. I love her. that. Love Anyone that. Anyone can use like. Yeah. That that means any doctor then actually killed someone, but was trying to save right, her and get away from it. You know what that's I mean? That's true. I also want to point out too that it's hard enough for him just as a person to be able to admit that he was wrong, but also as a detective. I mean, mm. this is his profession. This is what mm -hmm. he does. So for him to now not only face you know Barry's dad, but to also face the media and all right. of the people who I mean, this is his reputation on the line. Mm -hmm. You know, How that's a big make, deal. I don't mean to dumb it down some, but I was talking about that part where. Uh, uh, Barry's dad saw his face. Well, yeah. And I was like, I mean, every mama and dad can recognize their kid face in the mask. And then he did the face shake. I was like, oh. <laughs> that was oh. so clever. Was like, oh. No, it's a great Good point. Job. So why do you think Barry wouldn't want his dad to know that he's a hero? I think it's your regular stereotypical uh, cliche hero, nobody needs to know my identity for your own safety your type, own you know, deal. I actually thought it was interesting, Devon, that you even brought that up when we were watching it, because I was just kind of assuming that it's like the typical Batman phenomenon, where it's like, yeah. you just cover your eyes and all of a sudden nobody knows who you yeah, are. Yeah, that's you know, it's like, like, <laughs> remember the Incredibles, the cartoon? Yeah. They would just yeah. had the yeah. Yeah, 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 and it's like, who disguise. are you? Like, I can't recognize <laughs> you. Another thing, though, where do you go? During the murder, there was red lightning, too, so all of a sudden his dad would be like tripping. Would like, also be like, hey, dude, what's going on? No, I agree. Right. What has well. happened? And, right. and, I mean, crazy. to be honest, would your would would your dad be able like? Well, I was going to say I hasn't seen him in 11 years, but every time he come to visit and then, yeah, yeah, yeah no, you don't forget what your son looks yeah, like. No. Gonna look like, even see like if y'all were wearing masks right now, I'd still know who is who. We're going to try that. We're going to come in. <laughs> <and> <laughs> masks. We're going to fix that, and they try to address that in every yeah. superhero movie. But I'm just glad they did that with the fake the shape. The face that was as soon as you try to call him out, yeah, exactly. This is for you. And then see there, then they know what's up. Okay, I know what's up. So we had all this interaction inside Iron Heights and kind of countered what the Star Labs crew was talking about because they were thinking uh, of creating a place to house all these metahuman criminals mm -hmm. and they were thinking maybe the particle accelerator is the way to go about that. Mm -hmm. But maybe Iron Heights is the, um, the quintessential place to hold the supervillains in Central City. What do well, you all think? Technically, Iron Heights is the, the quintessential Arkham Asylum of the Flash. You know, of the Flash, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. The Flash and, is um, villains, yeah. It, it, I mean, we'll see now maybe there's more metahumans coming in that they might have to alter it because I doubt all of them can fit in that particle accelerator, although it looks huge. Yeah. So maybe, but, but I mean... But I loved our conversation about talking about with Iron Heights about how can you create one facility, one compound, where all these metahumans <laughs> can be captured in it at one time. You have gas, you have like people who can do all these so things. So what would you do? What well, would yeah, be I don't, way? How would you do? I don't know. I mean, okay, if I were creating yes. this, okay. So, but the warden, if, if Lauren if I, warden, if warden, I were the warden, warden I, would, I would keep shit locked down. No, no, um, <laughs> Lauren keep it locked shit. <laughs> no, um, I think that, you know, what we were talking about earlier is that everyone would definitely have to be kept in individual cells and each cell would have to be 
specialized to whoever the superpowers are. Of that Which person. is what they're doing with the particle right. accelerator yeah. thing. Yeah, exactly. So that's really the only. They way. might you, just take the labels and switch them. Like, you know what? We're gonna make this iron height and this, the, this particle the particle <laughs> right. accelerator place. It's just kind of hard because this. how do you prepare for a superhero, a meta human that you haven't met yet? Like, yeah. you know, powers that you don't know. So if they wind up keeping this guy, like we saw The Mist, uh, who's a new villain, and Cisco Ramon coming up with the good nicknames. As good always, job, Cisco. Cisco. Is the you new clever, clever boy. <laughs> they threw him in the particle accelerator, but for me, I feel like if you're putting bad guys in a particle accelerator, that just sounds like bad news is waiting to happen. Right. Well, mm -hmm. also, at the same time, it could be like counteractive. So the reason they got their powers was when they were normal. Well, mm -hmm. I'm going to say normal because that's the correct word. Normal people mm -hmm. getting uh, affected by the particle accelerator. How about Maybe if you go it. into the particle right. accelerator as someone who's already been affected by it, doesn't work for you. Like, that's what's blocking them off. Oh, because you've like already oh, been particle up. accelerated. Yeah. They can't. It can't adapt. Or to them does anymore. it accelerate you more and make your power stronger? Right. That would That's be cool. That would be hilarious. That would be cool. Or it's too much. Mess. Or like in X Men when the dude just like melts through the table. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's completed. He like falls through the bars. <laughs> just just in the grass. <laughs> you know, I think that there's got to be some sort of limit though, because at the end of the day, they are meta humans. Humans uh -huh. being the uh, keyword. Yes, you know yes. what I mean? Where you know, there's only probably so much their bodies can take. Well, maybe that I'd like to see them create a reversal like an antidote now for the metahumans so for the bad metahumans they're maybe they're keeping them in the particle accelerator because that's the only place they can keep them right mm -hmm. now whilst they're trying to find like a cure a really kind of almost so like yeah. the gas guy how do we get rid of his powers yeah. so let's keep him in the particle accelerator whilst the star labs work on it all and then maybe one day before they transfer them over into iron heights mm -hmm. they take away their powers in the particle accelerator mm. and then send them off to iron yeah. heights that way that mm -hmm. so they go to the jail totally. as a normal person well i'll tell you who's got a huge interest in metahumans harrison wells <laughs> he does. Uh, yep. And we saw the last button of the show where he's like really stalking Barry. He's really giving some creepy vibes out there. Soup's creeps. Um, and we watch <laughs> him uh, has a camera during the particle accelerator incident in Barry's lab, uh, lab area watching the lightning strike take place. And he says, see you soon, Barry. So is it logical to say that Harrison Wells planned this storm specifically to give Barry his powers? It, it definitely seems liable. Like, it definitely seems like something that we might be able to, to think. It's just, my only question is, being the number one Flash fan of all time, is uh, <laughs> I'm starting to get this feeling that that particle accelerator thing, because inevitably it was the speed force that picked Barry and all that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And Harrison Wells obviously having his intel from the future, possibly being from the future, like, it, it's hard to say maybe he got it. I, I don't know. I, I don't know where to put it because, as you were telling me, Jack, it is a separate entity of his own, the whole show itself exactly. from the we comic can't really, it, Although it has, does have such a similar line and story yeah. to the comics books, there's always going to be those little things that the writers have done to yeah. throw us off, to throw the number one Flash fan in the world mm -hmm. off. He's like, oh, slightly. I know this. It says it in the comics. Slightly. Oh, so only like, slightly. Only, only slightly. We just get in there. But, you know, I think this is one thing, guys, that we've kind of talked about, even as... as soon as the first episode that we said when we saw him looking into the future, mm. into those, um, not magazines, but newspapers that we saw him looking at. Mm. I think that we, we all know there's something that he's planning. There's a reason why he needs Barry to have those superpowers, and we don't know why. And I think that, you know, only only time will tell. He, well, he's my favorite yeah. character right now because we solely know nothing, nothing about yeah. him. He's definitely the most interesting you character. Know, yeah, by far. So besides Barry as the Flash maybe coming to a head, how else would we stop him? Or how else can someone interfere with his meddling ways? With Harrison Wells? Harrison yeah. Wells? Mm. Uh, well, it's hard to stop him because we don't know what he's we after. Don't know what, exactly. Yeah, that's we don't he's know what not he done wants. anything wrong. You know, yeah, exactly. There's, nothing, there's no male intentions at him so far. That also brings me to a random question I just thought of right now. If he that's has already predicted the whole thing with, you know, Barry Allen being the Flash and all that, is he also interacting with other people's lives, making them into heroes, heroines, villains, or whatnot? You know what I'm saying? Because Technically, the particle, acceler particle accelerator, excuse my language, is the foundation in the show that seems to have made all the metahumans. Mm -hmm. And like, well, he did say actually, even in the first episode, that he suspected that there were others, and he was looking. That's what them. I'm saying. Like, yeah. but with the whole sacrifice of Ronnie, you know, making it shoot up instead of out. Okay, that oh. small adjustment right there might have been different in Harrison's future. 
You see what I'm saying? Mm. And maybe right now he needs he's trying to direct it to certain individuals. I don't know. I just because there's so little that we know about him, I feel like he has a bigger scheme and plot yeah. than just Barry. Barry might be the vital piece, but I mean, is he, is he running? Is he running as he goes with it as well? Harrison Wells are things like getting in the way of him. Yeah, right that's now? like his major plan. He, I'm sure he's getting obs like well, if he only does so have much a major the guy plan. Can do, you know? Exactly. Is he definitely and definitely like a lot of questions to answer, and we want to mm -hmm. help answer your questions too. You guys know how to do that. Hit us up on Twitter. Or use the hashtag the flash as got a lot to talk about in fact we're going to get to some of those questions right when we come back from this break so don't you go anywhere <laughs> Just in case you missed it live. 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 I'm not fake. I'm so real. OK. Hey, who's excited? Woo! She's a little superhero slut because she's so good. I, I just pissed everybody off. She's like such a glamazon. Join the writer team because you are hot. Ah! <laughs> and I loved it. That is like tension beyond belief. I found her to be deliciously out of control. We were all just looked at each other just like, ah! So we can assume that you've written letters to inmates before. <laughs> Give me the diamonds, Give me the diamonds. Diamonds. <laughs> for my wife. Anyway. I'll take charge and kill everyone. Oh, fuck! Stop <laughs> this Holocaust coffin! <laughs> you were agreeing with me, so I think it was a great okay, point. Good. You know, you can't count anything out. Yes, 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 oh my god. With your shoe size, my size. Well, that was pretty awful. Oh my god. Very totally. cool. <laughs> Yeah, party up in here, <laughs> woo! Wish you guys could join us over here. It's getting wild. Uh, before we get to fan questions uh, via Twitter and YouTube, there was some Warner Brothers news today. And uh, me and Dee's, one of our favorite superheroes, Static Shock, just got greenlit for a uh, live action Super series. Superhero, Static no Shock. Super what? dope, super dope. So that should be good. Uh, definitely in the same universe that The Flash is in. I'm so. going to go find me a trash can lid and I'm surf out. on it. It's going to be really cool. We're super <laughs> pumped. So we got some YouTube shout outs that I got in my hand right here on handwritten paper and a beautiful handwriting. Ooh. Shout out to my man, X True Major. Wow, that's a cool name. Mm. PKD all day. Just Pew. the PKD. Uh, Spice Nug, Rick Stokely, Bob's. You can Bugus. Say that. You can Bob. Say that. <laughs> Nayar? Nayar? Najar. Najar. Let's pronounce Najar. Creative yeah. concepts. Najar. These homies, Ariel, Antonio, Este, Diaz. What's up? And uh, you know, forever Johnny Boy. What's good, man? Forever Johnny Boy. So thank you guys for keeping the comments coming and watching live with us. Tell your friends. You know, we're keeping it uh, saucy right here at the number one fan show network. Ooh, uh, we got the saucy. iPad out today, too. We're getting crazy. We're, we're, we're going up in the world, I must say. <laughs> Super <laughs> fast <laughs> internet speed. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, our first fan question comes from Dave Coca, and it's a good one. Do you guys think Harrison Wells could possibly be Barry from the future? They have the same body build, and they wear the same sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that on the comments of the last episode by also a guy, what was his name? C. Davy G. Theory. C. Davy G. I commented on that thing. Very interesting theory because... It's very interesting. It is very... Because I don't know where to take that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't thought of that because you're always expecting it to be one of the reverse... We all want to see reverse flash. Harrison Wells' tone, though, is just so ominous. Yeah. That it like, is. I don't know. You would want to be... Maybe that's why they want to throw you, but... That would I, be I really cool. I could see cool. him being Harry at, uh, Barry, and Devon has a good theory as to why. Yes. Well, after reading what you had said, uh, C. J. Davy G. If I said it wrong, I'm sorry. C. Davy G. But um, yes, about him being from the future, he said some about getting his powers later than he necessarily wanted to, and not right. being able to fully utilizing them. Then he said eventually getting the ability to come back in time, and now he's trying to pretty much guide or push himself. 
You know, like he's in the like right he may direction. have set up the accident earlier than it originally happens. You know, that kind mm -hmm. of thing. Time travel is just so creepy. Because, it is. It is. Okay, we know based on everyone's seen Back to the Future, so we could base all our time travel knowledge on Back, Back to, to the Future. future. You've seen it. You're That's the way it was. <laughs> so if not, I mean, you got it. Was it 88 miles an hour? That's all you need. Yeah, yeah. 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 78. It was yeah. Yeah. Hit, hit the wire at 78 um, miles an hour. That's exactly. No. What so if future, if he is future Barry, and he's made Barry get his powers earlier, maybe Harrison Wells wouldn't even be there anymore because that future Barry would have not needed to go back in time. It's so crazy. It's hard to say <laughs> though. Because so maybe since he came back, he's stuck there. Like maybe. Well, maybe. The history might change, but they kind of look alike. They're like white dudes but, with like little black haircut. Like, wait, am I correct? I, well, have, yeah, yeah, one, I, I can't, I'm not yeah. sure if I'm right here. Lauren and I spoke about this earlier. Does Harrison Wells have blue eyes, though? I can't think about it he right now, so I'm not sure it's true. And then Barry I, definitely and has Barry brown eyes. Barry definitely has them brown eyes. So, not that, contacts? You know, yeah. Them oh. maybe, contacts, maybe. maybe. We disguises. will definitely find that out soon enough. Uh, but that is an amazing question, and we're going to say yes, good question on our toes. And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> would it be a shocker if Wells' character might not be a character from the Flash storyline at all, but more of just a meta-human, and that comes from at... New Ombi. So I think what he's saying is uh, he was affected by the particle accelerator storm and he's Dude, a super villain. What if he's a metahuman who can see into the future and we didn't think about it? But he, we, he's basing his future knowledge off of the newspaper. Off of that what we he saw. can see. Who's it? The only time he's ever looked into the future or into the past is in that room that he goes into. Yeah, but if he was what a metahuman where that was his power, he would be able to just somehow do it. He wouldn't have to. You know, look at a newspaper on a special electronic thing. You I'm, know? I'm just saying. I mean, that's a good theory. He could be seen into the what future. What if he's and maybe he's just, just a metahuman that can sense other metahumans because they're all made off of the same particle? That's and a good one. Right? That's, that's a good one. And maybe he's trying to like take them down one by one, like. Because remember, he made it an emphasis to be like, well, all the metahumans we've seen are no longer with us. Well, and one so, and one thing as well that I didn't get when Caitlin said, um, I brought something earlier. Caitlin said. That um, why is it that as soon why did all the evil people get attacked by the particle accelerator? Mm -hmm. That's true because like the only good person is the Barry. only good person yeah. is Barry Sefer. But what I, yeah, I'm yeah. saying is, is it that Barry's the only one who was able to accept his powers and use them for the good of justice? Because I mean, if you were if you really had the superpowers to rob a bank, to fulfill your dreams, mm -hmm. to kill the person that you wanted to kill, like in this kind of scenario, that is what they've done. Everyone who got their powers has now gone from a zero to a hero. The Mist, what was wrong with him? He wanted to, he got put on death row. Mm -hmm. And what did he do? That's why he turned a villain. The original guy was already a bank robber, now he's robbing banks more. Mm -hmm. Like, I get that point. How comes it's everyone that was evil? Well, I know that there's people out there watching that would definitely be superheroes if they had the chance. So, Ooh. right on. Forever. If you'd be a super villain, I'm not gonna I'll lie. definitely be a super if villain. If they gave me dude. flashes of powers, I had to rob like one bank real quick and oh, nobody saw it. You know you're getting money. You, money you, get, you gotta get a, at least a little financial yeah, yeah, stability yeah, from it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll go to the Olympics and just yeah. ruin the but Olympics. But if you hit, rob like a bank out in like the middle of nowhere, Illinois real quick, come back to California, I'm good. And then I'm gonna start saving everybody. Being in Illinois, what's your bank? If I get through the speed, what about the Illinois you would power you would most want? If you only could have one. Come on now, the speed force, bro. Speed. Give me the flashes. Oh, I know. Teleportation. I know. Teleportation. Teleportation. I'll beat you anyway. No, no, no. I want you to think so anyway. I run faster than the speed of light. Telekinesis. So by the time telekinesis. you Free blink to go. people's minds and control people's minds. Ooh, I would just want, yeah. Oh, I don't know, that's power struggle. That's a power want. That's a power I would just want to be able to, like, move shit. I think that's telekinesis. Telekinesis. Just, like, move shit with yeah. power. So you want telepathy. 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 I want telekinesis. You want the telekinesis. I think that's gangster. Just, like, We'd be a great... Status We'd be a great is good, too. Electricity. Hey. Everything you got, electricity. You know what I'm saying? Woo, we getting excited <laughs> over here. Yeah. Send us your superpower at the Flash AS hashtag I'll, on Twitter. I'll still be a super villain. I think, I like I said, for the first down. week, I'm gonna have to rob a couple banks and get financially <laughs> a secure. A couple now? I thought it was one well, in Illinois. Illinois got a couple banks. Okay. <laughs> Our next fan question comes from at Hitsushu. Will Flash have any sidekick on the show? Like Arrow has Red Arrow. Who? 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 Woo! These excited. We were just talking about this a minute ago, okay? <laughs> ah! Now, what I was saying, and I actually saw somebody commented this on uh, uh, YouTube as well. I can't remember your name, but good. Good, I was thinking the same thing. You know what now, you're talking about. Now, <laughs> Wally West is Iris's nephew. That means Iris got a black ass brother somewhere <laughs> who had a light skinned ass baby somewhere <laughs> that's gonna have the West last name that might come into the picture because Kid Flash is who we are all expecting eventually to pop on. Obviously, now why Barry is this young, mm -hmm. but at the same time, 
I'm just saying, maybe Joe has a couple more kids, and will Wally West, aka Kid Flash, be of mixed Introduce, descent maybe? of right. some sort? So it is an interesting idea, yeah. but that's the only I, sidekick I can see popping up. I personally don't think there's going to be a sidekick coming. I think it's a great question, but honestly, I don't think there'll be a Flash sidekick coming in. I think there's way too many characters are that are going to come. I think they're well, right now we have Cisco already. And that's like, what I mean. If anyone wants to yeah. be a sidekick right now, it's going to be Star Labs. It's going to be um, Cisco at the moment. Yeah. It's going to be Caitlin at the moment. Well, we do have a lot of episodes, guys. Right we have now. 24 episodes now, so we do and have a long time. Oh, hell yeah. this, this is a hit. Ten, I was thinking fifteen for sure. Who sure. like it old now. by then? <laughs> Getting a flash at sixty years old, running with a the walker. The grandpa really flash. <laughs> but I know what is going to happen in the next couple of years. In the next few years, we are going to see the cinematic version of the Flash. And if you guys have been on the internet at all, you know that it has just been cast, and Ezra Miller has just been chosen to play the Flash mm -hmm. in Zack Snyder's DC Universe. Now we don't know whether it's going to be Barry Allen or Wally West. We have our theories, and my personal theory is that it's going to be Wally West. Mm -hmm. And Ezra Miller, in my opinion, is a great choice. I think he's got a great personality. His face literally looks like a comic book. And uh, he's 22 now, so the next 10 years he'll have up until 32. I think it, uh, it really works out. He's about 5'11", nice uh, in shape skinny dude with uh, good personality. I know Dee's not feeling it. And moving on to Jack's opinion. <laughs> I, I think, I, 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 okay, fair enough thinking about him as, uh, as Wally West. Wally yeah. West, he would be a great character, don't get me wrong. I automatically initially th thought either Jay Garrett or, um, is it Garrett or Garrick? Garrick. Yeah. Garrick, sorry about that, guys. Um, Jay Garrick or Barry Allen. And I thought for either of them to, hell no. That is not going to happen. He's not blonde. He's not blue eyes. He's not in good shape. He is not the Flash. Thinking about him as Wally West, I can see where that's coming yeah. from. Like you say, he's charming, got a great personality, face does look like a comic book. That's funny. I'm feeling that. Ezra Ooh. Miller, let's see it. I'm and, excited. Uh, we, what is it four years? 2018 is they planning? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's 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 a long time. That's a long so long time. many <laughs> casting choices to go through, which brings us to our new segment, Stream Dream Casting. <laughs> Party. And uh, last week we asked you who would you love to see most as the Flash. Now we know it's Ezra Miller, and we had our selections. We wanted to know who you agreed with most, and you guys agreed most with. Jack. Yeah. I told you. I told you what. Bradley Cooper, 41%. Bradley Cooper wins everything. Totally, totally. Every so this week, we're going to go around the room and talk about who we want to see cast as Green Lantern. Now, we know Green Lantern is Jon Stewart, Hal Jordan, Guy Gardner, and one more. Kyle. Kyle. What's his name? Kyle, Kyle. Oh, you were talking about the yeah. Lantern. The I was thinking Green about the Lantern, Flash. I'm sorry. Kyle Rayner. Kyle Rayner. Kyle Rayner. There we Kyle go. Yeah, we go. There. So you. we're going to go around the room with Devin's choice of who he wants to see play Green Lantern in Justice League. Um, I had a few choices that I went to do. Uh, I, I don't like to pick the obvious choice in the beginning, so I went out a little bit, and I thought Omari Hardwick, which is this guy here. <gasps> I can see, I mean, even the picture, look at that. Yeah, he that, looks like him right there. That like, he does, he does. I'm just your boy. He's on the internet for hours yes. looking at these photos. He was, he's young. He's in amazing shape. I'm pretty sure you've seen him in all his movies. And, no. I mean, I feel like he's a, he has really good acting chops, too. Like, I feel like he could do you it. You watch his Cinemax show, I was not digging his acting. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. He'd still make a great Green Lantern. You know, all I right. love that this whole little dream cast makes you three look up dudes for yeah. hours. Just like, oh Dude, I had a shirt of Bradley, I had a, t I had a photo of Bradley Cooper shirtless on the last one. I was like, I'm looking out for my viewers. My so, Flash Jack, who do you want to see as Green Lantern? <laughs> right, my shout for the Green Lantern as, uh, not Hal Jordan, what was the guy's name? Uh, uh, John uh, Stewart. John Stewart, thank you, miles away there. John Stewart would be Idris Elba. One reason ah, and one reason only, he's British. No, I'm only joking. Yeah. I think he's an incredible actor. <laughs> yes, he's British, so that's about 70% of the reason. But also, if you've seen Pacific Rim, if you've seen No Good Deed, go and watch, by the way, it's incredible. Idris Elba will blow your mind in it. Horrifying dude. But I think he has such a structure. The Green Lantern is like all about will and using yes, your willpower. Yes, yes, yes. And I think Idris Elba is a strong dude. Great yeah, choice, like great choice. Really good you guys are going to be able to have a chance to vote uh, at the stream.tv right now for which one of us you agree with most. So go Idris do that Elba. right now on another window. Don't X us out. How dare you? Uh, <laughs> Lord, make a tab. Make a new tab. Okay, so um, I didn't pick the same Green Lantern that you guys did. I love that. Okay, so, I don't. Um, so mine, mine's going to look nothing like you guys's, but um, I picked a guy named Wilson Bethel um, who is actually 
actually, uh, he was on a show called Heart of Dixie. And um, I just thought that he would be really great because Which he has, version? Guy Gardner. Guy Gardner. Oh, okay. Yeah, Guy Gardner. Because I feel that, um, you know, he has kind of a strong jaw. And he has this kind of, like, subtle strength about him when, like, um, he plays, like, a kind of... Um, I don't know, a little bit mysterious of a character on Heart of Dixie, and so that's why I think that he would be a good uh, medic. And they made friends on a plane. Yeah, we made one friends time. on a plane. So oh, it's just a boy band. It's like you're yeah. yeah. being a boy band. Sure, we're trying to give him her man crush no, Monday, no, girl. Get out of here. Yeah, I thought no, you were cast tagging on it. Yeah, exactly. You know what? Okay, I, I'm going to be doing the same thing for you guys. When you guys were up for a Roman, be like, hey, Devon. I appreciate that. Dylan would be awesome in this. But I doubt they go with the Guy Gardner version. Like, it just don't. You as a Guy Gardner, I'm feeling All right, and just to let you guys know who I think. I uh, think I'd like to see play uh, John Stewart because I would really like the John Stewart to Thank be you. in it. But I'm going to go with Michael J. White. Yeah. He's the original Spawn. And why I'm going to go with him is because he's a little on the older side. By the time the Green Lantern solo movie comes out in 2020, he's going to be 52 years old. God. Don't doubt he could get in shape because he's a black, uh, well, like a black belt, martial, black belt yeah. martial artist. I was going to say, we know Super he's black. Jack. <laughs> now, oh, black. the John Stewart Wally West relationship within the Justice League is like mm. some of the the best yes. uh, interaction there is, and Wally West being the young, um, flashy jokester really will go uh, well with uh, John Stewart, who has lost touch with humanity pretty much, and uh, he's kind of just all military. He's only the Green Lantern. He doesn't even have like a regular life. So I think that contrast would be great. And they might do. You're concerned about his age? Don't worry. No. The we sequels concerned. to Green Lantern may or may not be <laughs> Green Lantern Corpse, where they can introduce all the other Green Lanterns. Mm -hmm. So you get John, oh, you get cool. you get John Stewart for the next like uh, six, seven years for a few movies, and then you reintroduce Hal Jordan. Boom! That's, onto the fan yeah. pick. That's what I would like uh, to see. Yeah. I would like to see the core. I think yeah. that would be the core. I really, like, I really like your pick about Michael J. White. I'm mm -hmm. upset I missed him. I think he's great as well because, like you said, with yeah. the Wally West character, he's also in his other films as well. He's always like a very guidance character. For sure. Like in Blood and Bone, he was looking after the little boy in the family. He's scary. It, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then also in Never Back Down, in Never Back Down Two, did the same thing. Took the boy under well, his wing. Well, Never Back Down One was Digimon Home Suit. Yeah, yeah, Digimon Home He's great. He also voices Jog Green Lantern in that episode. So we're gonna wrap this show up real quickly after we get to our fan pick. My boy Jared Eamon, he wants to see Chadwick Boseman yeah, take yeah, up yeah. Green Lantern. Oh, okay, okay. And I think it's a great pick. <laughs> okay. I think it's the great pick. However, if, if DC casted their movies like Marvel, I think Chadwick Boseman would be Jon Stewart. Mm -hmm. The issue is... Uh, Chadwick Boseman would be the equivalent of a Katy Perry. He's like a pop star of the right. movie world, where he's like a mainstream guy, and I just don't see well, Green Lantern he, and DC going that direction. The only reason I'm, I'm thinking maybe against Chadwick, not to say he's not a very talented actor, I think he could definitely do it, but they're, they got like 10 more biography picks they need to use him for. He, he was already James Brown, yeah. he was already right. Jackie Robinson, next he got to be Harriet Tubman, and then he has to be... <laughs> 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 like, I feel like he has, like, ten oh more biopics God, to do amazing. before he can do anything that's else. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, he's gonna yeah, play yeah. He got to play my grandma on he the next movie. He Black Panther for <laughs> Marvel, too, though. Now, that. Yeah. But then again, you know what I'm saying, that's going to be Same in 2086. So yeah. that is our picks, guys. Go to the stream.tv right now for vote to vote for who you agree with most, and we're going to let you know uh, who won next week. And so if you want to get your voice heard and be featured right here on this show and get your fan pick blasted out to the world, we want to know who you guys would vote for or your dream casting choice would be for... Shazam! Shazam! Woo! Woo. Look at that graphic. I just want to throw this out there before Great we graphic. vote for Shazam. Just realized his name was Captain Marvel a long yes. time ago, mm -hmm. and Jay Garrick picked his outfit to resemble Bam. Shazam. So bam, bam, bam. I love that. We Next go. week we're gonna let you know who we would want to see as our oh. stream dream casting choice using the hashtag stream dream casting uh, for Shazam coming up with the the Rock in his movie Black Adam. Woo! <laughs> and uh, just like that. We're done with this episode. Thank you guys for chilling with us. Thank As you. always, an amazing time. <laughs> and uh, keep up with The Flash. Keep up with all things DC. And we will see you next week. Sweetest. Peace out.